take your hand lettering to the next level with a little everyday calligraphy. Amanda Plotner joins me in today's Creative Corner. Amanda, I always love having you in here because I feel like my handwriting has some hope here, but of course. glad to have you here. <laughs> yes. I'm happy to be here. Thank yes. you. Okay, so today we're kind of talking about everyday calligraphy. Yes. What does that mean? So you think calligraphy, you need all these fancy tools and stuff, but really you can use any regular pen. You can use a pencil and you can still create beautiful lettering. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, let's dive right in so you can show me exactly how we can do some everyday calligraphy. For sure. So um, let me have you write your name. We're okay. going to be using just this uh, monoline tip of this brush pen. Okay. So we're not going to use the special brush pen because I'm trying so to show you. This just looks like kind of like a normal. Normal marker. Normal yes. Marker. Okay. So we'll have you write your name. And do I like stay within these lines? Um, do you want to? <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'll yeah. try. Let's try. Let's try. So yes. And write in cursive? Write in cursive. Yes. Okay. I always slate my paper a little bit here. And, yep. And I will also write your name. Oh boy. That means you're going to see the difference. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll find it. No, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's an opportunity for me to learn. Yes, oh my for gosh. sure. Look how beautiful. Okay. Maybe I should have taken my time more. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so, so this is, you know, it's kind of wonky right now, but if you added, um, for calligraphy, the downstrokes are the thick strokes, okay. right? So that's the difference that gives it a little pretty look. So we're okay. just going to add a down... Um, thicken the downstroke. So everywhere you your penmanship went down, do a thick stroke. So okay. I'm just gonna draw lines to kind of. Okay, I see what you're doing. See what I'm doing? Oh yes. yes. Okay, so you're adding little like gaps here to fill in. Yes, and that's fine. I should have said that earlier. <laughs> no, no, that's great. Okay, and so then yeah. And now I just go in and I fill that in. Now yes. would I fill it in with the same color? If you wanted to, okay. and if you wanted to be more creative, you can get a different color and then. Oh. Change it up. So okay, I'm gonna do this twice. I'm gonna fill it in like this. Yes. With just oh, actually, I don't know if I meant to fill that part in, but that's okay. That's gonna be filled in now. And then I'm gonna go in and fill in where my downstroke was. <gasps> oh, that kind of looks pretty. Right. So this then, is like a knockoff of true calligraphy. Yeah. So it's called faux calligraphy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh and yeah, so. you can see a difference there on our screen. Yes. On the right there is our faux calligraphy, and yes. on the left is using it's that the brush. actual brush pen. So I'm gonna write it. You write your name again using the brush pen, and you can kind of see what we were trying oh, wow. to accomplish, right? So this just Although. makes it kind of easier and faster. And you did that little loop in the <laughs> R. Oh my gosh. Yes, but that this is, is kind of frayed, so. So do yeah. you think that if you practice your faux calligraphy enough that it's going to be an easier transition to real or not really? Actually, yes, it is because it teaches you where you're supposed to have your thick strokes and how you're spacing your letters enough so it's not all scrunched up. Okay, yeah. so then with your um, faux calligraphy, or your real calligraphy using the brush pen, yes. you know when to press versus exactly. when to Exactly, yes. And, and that's actually, I learned calligraphy starting with the faux calligraphy. Okay, I'm yes. going to try it again, and I'm going to try to write my name a little bit more like you did. <laughs> okay. And this is cool because people can do this, like, while they're sitting at home. For or sure. Like, just kind of hanging out. Okay, so yeah, and if you have like isn't. a gift that you wanted to for someone and just be all fancy. So I'm going back through and I have to think about where my downstrokes yes. were. So my downstroke here. Correct. Oh, that was kind of thick. My downstroke here. Yes. And then wow, they should they should teach this in like schools or something. I mean, <laughs> this is beautiful. It is. Okay, and then all my downstrokes here. And then all I have to do is go in and fill this in. Yes. And then you're basically just you're faking your calligraphy to make it all pretty. There you go. Okay, this is actually pretty good, but can we take a look at Amanda's just because um, we shouldn't focus too much on mine because they're very good. But <laughs> hers is absolutely gorgeous. And this is just using, I mean, this one is just using these little pins that have very normal tips to them. And then this one is using that brush pin yes. um, where you know where to put that pressure on there to, for that thickness. Yes, and that's why I love these brush pens because it's dual tip. Yes. So you have the brush end and you have the mono line end which yeah you know and this is something anyone can do you don't have any have to have any experience or even pretty penmanship this is just a great starting point for anybody for sure absolutely we always love having you thank you for having me yes thanks for joining us in our creative corner um, if you are interested in maybe practicing some of your own calligraphy um, or faux calligraphy there's a little QR code that you can scan to join this creative community it's super fun um, and you can become a calligraphy expert we'll connect you on our website after today's show